uh, Wolves 2, Brighton 3. And I think maybe with 11 players on the pitch, with Samado not being one of them, you might get a result from that. I thought we, you know, Brighton played around us and they're, they're a fantastic team to watch and they look like they've added that cutting edge. Uh, which is a threat to, to a lot of teams in this league. I wish we could do something like that. But they played around us. But we, we, we still had that threat on, on the counter. And going forward, it's the first time this season where I thought we looked likely to score and we went forward. Um, but it, it's, still, it's, it's still a difficult one to take purely because of the circumstances that we, we, we lost the game in. But it, it, it was always coming. It was one-way traffic in, 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 in the second half. Um, I don't like to pinpoint it on players and... And make it all about one player, but Samedo today was was one of the worst individual performances I've seen from a Wolves player, and it was only forty five minutes. It was the toss up between him and Graham Scott who had the worst afternoon. But the second goal that we concede is similar to the goal against Palace, um, where there's just zero awareness from Samedo, not looking over his shoulder at fullback. You can't expect a ball to come in the box and have no awareness or even know where where where, where your player is. Again, same with Palace, just gets beaten in the air, and it's it it it's a simple simple stuff. And it's a shame that Johnny's a crock of shit as well because you know them them pair having a competition who can get dropped the most this season. Um, and it, I think it the sending off killed us. I did think that we might play a little bit better with him off the pitch because he he was that bad. He was just getting roasted, but he gets caught out by just a simple long punt up field. And people around me saying it's it's not a red card. I, I think it is a red card. He's, he's if he takes a touch around Samado there, he's, he's at least got a, a shot at goal and threw it into the box with no one really around him. Um, so it was an absolute disaster. It was always going to be a mountain to climb after that. Um, the one positive maybe from today was Gedge. She looked. It looked like he actually wanted to be there today and he took his goal. I know he's probably going to get a penalty if he doesn't get the shot away, but he took his goal really well. It's a really intelligent run and it's a, it's a clever ball from Traore. It's nice to see one of our midfielders try and play through the lines and, and he tried to break through the lines quite a lot. He's still a little bit raw, but he was everywhere today again. Um, but Brighton, Brighton are such a good team, such a good team to watch, well drilled. Um, were setting traps when we were pressing, like their midfielders were coming in narrow and it was creating so many angles and two or three passes they were through on goal. Um, but the def our defence is awful. Kilman's and Collins. Kilman and Collins started the season really well. Um, and defensive, the, the back fours, and especially centre-backs for me, are as, as much about partnerships as they are individuals. And I feel, and this is me saying Cody back, but... Kilman is fairly inexperienced. I know he's you know he's older, but he's not played that much professional football at the top level. And Collins is still a young lad, and I, and, I, and I do like Collins, but I just don't think they're right as a partnership. You need you need a, a bit more of a wiser head and a, and a leader and someone to organise. It's they look at sixes and sevens. There's only probably Bueno who can come out of that game from the from the from the back four who looked half decent, but the, the goals are sick now, and and it's really tough. And lapatagi has got his got his work cut out. I still think we're in trouble. Um, but then you know it's it, it's still quite tight down now. I just hope that he can um, he can get his methods across to these players and the confidence isn't at rock bottom because I don't think he'll be backed in January. But there's a case for replacing most of that eleven, um, uh, especially in game games like today. But it's just individual errors that have cost us. Brighton well deserved the win, um, but I still think with eleven men on the pitch we may have got something from that, even a point. But yeah, another disappointing afternoon being a Wolves fan. All I'll say is I hope Julian Lopetegui can play as a centre-back because we're doomed otherwise. Wolves 2, Brighton 3 at Molyneux. That was that was up and down. That was a, a real roller coaster. It was a great game for a neutral to watch, which was sadly ruined by, well, a bit of both really, Graham Scott and Nelson Zamedo, especially Nelson Zamedo. What a joke. What a disgrace. We're all calling out for him over the last few weeks to play instead of Johnny, who I might I had came on in the second half. It was absolutely shocking as well. Gave away the ball so many times. Got done all ends up by Matoma on numerous occasions on that left-hand side. Truly shocking from Wolves defensively. But Nelson Tomato for the second goal and for the red card. It's so stupid. It's unreal. Diogo Dallo, who I think Tomato gets in ahead of for Portugal. Or they're around the same level for Portugal. Tomato sometimes called up. Headed away about six crosses to the back post last weekend from Man United. So, mate, I had one job today. Not get out jumped by someone who's about, I'd say, 
half a foot smaller than him. And he did. And they scored the equaliser and they completely shifted the momentum. And then he drags him down when he's through on goal in the most stupid of manners. Honestly, it's inexcusable from him. And Johnny came on and wasn't much better. So Wolves do need to sign a right back or a recall when they get Jabala in the January transfer window. Because my God, Lopetegui is tough to work with there. There's some players. Bubakar Traore, he's a player. He's a good player. I think he impressed me again today. Moutinho in his last couple of games has been a little bit better than what he was at the start of the season. Um, Gredes, great goal. Best game in a Wilshire by far. There's something to work with there with him. And I've always thought that. And I'm surprised it took him this long to get... Well, no, I'm not surprised it took him this long because Steve Davis obviously didn't warm to him very much. But I'm glad to see that he's got his first goal and he's off the mark for the club. But it's not there that actually I think the problems lie for Wolves now because we're scoring goals. We're scoring a couple of goals under Steve Davis now. But that's the first time we've scored two all season. But the defence, the defenders, it, it, it was atrocious today. It really was. It was so, so bad. For the first goal, Lalana in acres of space to be able to pick his spot. Sixes and sevens at the back. Then they set up better. And then lo and behold, we went and scored two goals. But then the heads went again. Like Lenana being able to dance through three players, put a cross in and tomato be out jumped by someone who's significantly shorter than him, I think. And that's 2-2. Two, two. And then stupidly, nobody going to press Lewis Dunk, who we know is a good ball player at the back, to go and spread the pass through. Straight through, Tomato and Mitoma, it's a foot race. Tomato drags him down. So stupid. Whether it's a clear goal scoring opportunity or not, I don't know. But either way... It's so naive from Nelson Semedo. It's so bad. And he's the reason we lost that game today. Marty had Graham Scott's a fucking disgrace as well. Seriously, some of those decisions in the second half. That Nathan Collins yellow card and Danny Welbeck diving. Do me a favour. Honestly, the standard referees in this division is so bad. Wolves' penalty I thought was 50-50. But your arm is up and it hits your arm. And then it is a penalty nowadays in the Premier League. But <laughs> it's not looking great for Wolves. Leeds beat Bournemouth today. Forest rescued a late point. We're joint bottom in the league still. Um, how we've managed to attract a manager like Lopetegui, who, for all we know, mightn't be that good, but we know he is good from past experiences. But we need him to be good because we need him to be able to keep this Wolves team up. And we need to buy players in January, namely a striker as well, because whatever Raul's doing, dancing about the place in Mexico or whatever, I know he's back today, sitting beside Sasser who did his ACL in his first game, which is just typical of Wolves. But we do need attacking reinforcements. We need a striker in January because Diego Costa's stupidness last weekend to get sent off. So you're getting pissed off the more I think about this team at the moment. There's something to work with there. There is just players like Neves and the like and Triore, Both Triores. But my God, Nathan Collins, Max Kilman. Nathan Collins especially, since he's come back from the red card against Manchester City, I was expecting a, a new player, someone that'll be, be able to provide a presence in the back for Wolves. Terrible at Palace, terrible against Leicester, okay last weekend, did it all right against Tony, and terrible again today. Seriously. And Johnny as well. Hugo Bueno again, solid on that side. I ignore he, Came on and just frustrates the life out of me because between crossing it behind and not making the right decisions, it's woeful. But two games left before the World Cup. It'll be a relief, to be honest, to not have to watch this team until the middle of December. Good effort today. I have to say that. Good effort in the second half. But they're buckled again towards the end and let in such a scrappy goal. It's non-league defending, honestly. And as it sounds, we are going down. That's, that's the high and short of it. Large, no large, Davis, no Davis, Lopetegui or no Lopetegui. Wolves, as it stands, are second bottom of the league. And that's, are in deep, deep trouble. I'm afraid to say it, they're in deep, deep trouble. Wolves 2, Brighton 3. It's finished, Wolves 2, Brighton 3. Uh, oh, man. It's a really difficult video to make this one because I really, really want to blow my top off with this football team at the moment but I can't today because they absolutely ran their bollocks off and worked hard and had a bit of fight to try and win that football game today and it's just these little individuals and the mistakes that they make that are costing us not only a point today but three points because I believe, and a lot of people around me believed, that going in at 2-1 would have been brilliant. Yeah, 2-2 happened, that's fine. 
but then this idiot, this absolute useless twat at right back has cost us the win and a point today. It's his fault that we go in two each with 10 men. He's going absolutely nowhere there. The touch takes it out of play for one. He's on the edge of the 18 yard box to the right hand side. If he scores from there, fair play. Fair play. Because we should have people covering and then Sar should make a save. There is no need to make the challenge there. Absolutely ridiculous. And to, to get to get sent off that close to half time is absolutely crucial to, to us to us actually losing the game today. I thought we I thought we didn't start particularly well. They went one nil up through some good play. They're a good side, Brighton. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come on here and say that we lost to a shit team because they're not a shit team. They're a very, very good team. They're well drilled, they work for each other. They pass it round so well, they don't panic. Their two centre backs are brilliant. Their forward men are absolutely brilliant. Uh, and we went one that one nil down to uh, Lalana, which is a good finish. Uh, and then out of nowhere, we come back with Guedes, which was a brilliant run from him. He was one of the one of the players today. I really felt sorry for being on the losing side. Him and Bubakar Troyeray. I thought Troyeray was the best player on the pitch. He ran. He ran. He, he worked hard. He made tackles. He put himself about. Uh, and it's a shame that he's coming on coming off on the the wrong side of the. Of the uh, of the game today, um, I didn't think there was any particular massively good standouts for Walls this afternoon, um, bar him and Guedes. And I thought Juan put himself about a bit, which was good to see. I try not to be negative because this whole season so far and all the videos that I, I seem to be doing at the moment are just pure negativity towards the team. I don't want to try and try and do that, but. You've got to talk negatively because we ain't picking up points. We ain't even getting a point. It's, it's another loss for us today. And we're 14, 15 games into the season. And it's starting to get slightly worrying. I know, you know, we, we've got the manager in now that we wanted. But is the manager the actual problem with this team or is it the players? Can these players play the way they want us to play? I don't, I don't really see what the manager can do to change the mentality or the fullback position problem that we have. I was talking to my brother and he says that that position is purely cursed. Whoever seems to step into that right back, right back position seems to have a dreadful, dreadful game. Johnny Orsamado. My priority would be getting a right back in on January 1st, whenever we can. Um, and we really need something to click for Wolves. Today would have been a great opportunity to get three points if we could have held on, or even in the second half. I think we win the game with 11. But today we lost the game because of Samedo. And that's the plain and simple simpleness of it. We lost the game because of the right back. That's all I'm going to say today. I don't want to be any more negative towards the team. So we move on to Arsenal next week. Another really tough game. Leeds midweek in the cup. I'm not really looking much for much with Leeds. I think we just need to focus on the league for this season and, and trying to uh, stay up and push ourselves up the table. So yeah, move on to Arsenal. Who are obviously flying and have had some bad blood between us in the past couple of past couple of years. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see who plays and how we play against Arsenal. So, yeah, uh, thanks for having me on, boys. Cheers. Well, Wolves 2, Brighton 3. Disappointing game again today. So, to pull it back from 1-0 down to 2-1, I thought was brilliant. Players showed a lot of fight, a lot of passion. Um, seemed like they wanted to be there today and wanted to, to fight and, and play for the team, which is obviously a, should really be a given at this level, but hasn't necessarily this season. But 2-1 two, one, two, one up, going towards half-time. You're thinking, right, see this out till half-time get back in there and then come back out for the second half. But really, worst case scenario, strikes. that They score a goal, which really shouldn't be scoring. Samedo at fault, really. Um, getting out jumped, as he seems to do far too often in the box for the Brighton player to head home. 
Um, but equally, he probably shouldn't be the, the only player in the box marking somebody. We, we dropped so deep at that point. We had what felt like 11 men behind the ball, yet the guy still manages to, to get the ball over and he's one-on-one -on -one with Samedo in the box, which wasn't the only time that happened today. And the, the defending overall was, was absolutely atrocious. If we play like that against Arsenal, we will get absolutely battered. You can't give that many players that much free time not just in the box, but right in the middle of goal. You know, for all three of their goals, really, was just a case of a couple of passes inside the box and and they were free. Um, say, other than the, the second, which Samada got out-jumped for. And you're then thinking, OK, two all, not not ideal, but let's now see it through till till full time. And, and Samada goes and rugby tackles the fella and gets himself sent off, which I have to say, I, I thought it was a red. I think if he doesn't take him out, brings the ball down quite easily and, and he's one-on-one -on -one with Saab. But it was a tight angle and I would prefer for Samedo, well, firstly, probably not to, to go anywhere near him than just try and get the block in when the, the guy does bring the ball down. But secondly, if he has gone, just let him go. Saab's got a real good opportunity from that angle to save it. And even if he scores, OK, it's 3-2 at half time, which is, is not great, but you've still got 11 men. Thought second half we played all right. Even with 10 men, I thought we, you know, some a few good movements. Dharma had a... A decent shot that was saved by the keeper. I think another one he, he touched just over the bar. And we probably created the better chances. But we just give teams far too much space. We just stand off them all the time. Their back four really had the, the freedom of Wolverhampton today. They had so much time and space. No one closed down. And really epitomised second half when we were getting towards the end of the game. Neves closes down the keeper and just needed Matinho to, to push and close down the defender. And he just left him. Keeper's got an easy ball out. Defender gets the ball and they're off again. And I think Matinho got a bit of a, a battering off Neves for that one and probably not a popular opinion, but Matinho for me this season has, has done next to nothing really. I thought he's been he's been very poor. Um, what I will say in his defence is he shouldn't be starting games in the Premier League at his age. He, he's been so good for us, but really gone off the boil a little bit this year. Huang again, a couple of good movements, but nothing really. Opponent similar, just not a great game for either of them really. Um, Guidez I thought looked good, looked, looked sharp, which really he should have done before today. Took his goal really well, even though he's getting pushed in the back. Um, and Neves, uh, yeah, all good good as always, and stuck his penalty away into the top corner. But to score two goals at home, come from 2-1 down, and ultimately lose 3-2 and, and still be in the bottom three is, is not good. Obviously, new manager confirmed. Bit of a shame he's not coming in until after the Arsenal game, but, but better to be in than not. Did see that his backroom staff are coming in on Tuesday to meet the players and hopefully they'll have a bit of an impact on the players as we move into the, the Leeds and Arsenal games. But Arsenal really is, is one of those games that you don't expect to win anyway. If we can if we can nick a point, I'd be more than happy. But onwards and upwards, hopefully. Say new manager in, which is what I think we needed. They they look like they've had a lack of direction. They've got a formation, but they don't look like they're particularly coached or drilled at all, if I'm honest. Um, they sort of sit there in the formation, but people get pulled out all over the place. Collins spent more time today at, at right back, or certainly in the right back position, than he did in the box at, at centre half. And I think that's always tricky um, and makes it difficult. But again, individually, Collins, Kilman, probably not up to the levels we, we'd like them to be. Um, Samedo, awful today. Johnny did okay, actually, I thought, when he came on, to be fair, although he had two on one pretty much all the time. Team second half just looked a little bit lopsided as well. You had sort of Guidez, um, certainly to begin with on the on sort of the left midfield, but no one on the right midfield at all. And that could that sort of told really when Johnny was getting overrun and Collins having to keep coming out. But so new new manager coming in, a lot more fight, scored two goals for the first time since May, which I guess is a positive. But yeah, get get manager in, good coaching, hopefully bring in some more players in January as well, which you think someone the quality of Lopetegui wouldn't come in unless he's got reassurances about who he can bring in in January because he's certainly not going to want a relegation on, on his CV um, and I wouldn't blame him. So hopefully get some reinforcements. I think really we could do an experienced centre-half replacement for Matinho. It just feels like we're light in midfield. Really, we've got four senior central midfielders for three positions, which just isn't enough for me. Um, so a replacement really in the starting lineup for Matinho with him being a good option off the bench and obviously a striker. Um, which we've been crying out for all season. I know Diego Costa's only out for another two games, but again, not really done anything for me this season. I think if it wasn't for the fact that he is today, Diego Costa, he'd probably get a bit of stick. But equally, he hasn't he hasn't played in eighteen months, so it's not really surprising um, that that he's in that in that sort of position. It'll just take him time to to sort of get back in there, and I mean, he certainly won't lose the quality. So 
fingers crossed he can get it back. But yeah, t tricky games coming up, but we need to start picking up some points from somewhere or we're going to very soon be cut adrift. Evening, more sons. Well, um, that was a bit of a mixed bag to say the least. Sort of started not very well. Um, they got the, the foothold of the game straight away. They kept the pitch wide, really got looked to attack our full backs and sort of their but on both sides they seemed to overload our full backs at all times and it really worked. They had a game plan, it really worked. Obviously they took the lead to the Lalana. Too easy getting to our defence, but we know about that, don't we? Um somebody's gotta change there because we look fragile at the back, we look vulnerable. We really look like every time someone attacks us, we're just gonna fall apart. Um and then we got straight back in the game, Guedes, in a bit of quality. Um, great pass from Traore, I love that lad, that new, that new Bubakar Traore, I love him. Um, he's what we've missed for a long time, some energy, some desire. He does what he does, if he's going to win the ball, he's going to try and win the ball and he's, he's not going to pull out of anything, going to give 100% with everything and we've missed that. Um, he's a little bit raw, but he's very good, he's got energy, he puts a, a, a shift in and we, again, it's something we haven't had for a long time, a bit of a, a midfielder with, with some legs and... Um, yeah, he can get about the pitch and, and, and doesn't shy away from it, which is good. Um, so he was a bit of a highlight today. I thought Guedes had his best game in a Wolf shirt, obviously scoring his goal, which it, I thought he took very well. He purposely cut across the uh, the player tracking him back. So if he does take him down to penalty, and it could have been a shout for one, but he does well because even though he's stumbling, thinks, right, I'm just going to get my shot on target, puts it away. Brilliant. Um, and then I thought after that, he was actually really involved in the game um, at times. And when he was, it was quality. Um, he was the one who looked like the bright spark in that, that forward line. Um, obviously got withdrew, um, looked a bit tired, obviously had a bit of a knock as well. Um, but yeah, good good positive showing from him really, which is nice to see, because there wasn't too many positives at the end of the day, was there? Um, I thought Huang done okay, he tried hard again, but it, it, it was a Huang performance where any time he got a little touch he would go over. Now I did think the referee was shocking, <laughs> I'm not going to... Uh, say anything else about that because it's a lot of bright players were immune to getting booked throughout the whole game for very similar fouls to what we made and got booked for but that's refereeing and that's what we seem to have a lot of the time so I'm not going to dive into that too much uh, I think Samedo was absolutely dreadful which I think most will say the same even before he's sending off how he gets beat at the back stick so easily it, it's basically a <sighs> the players almost like just got in front of him like he's not even there headed it in um, Sark could potentially do better but against Smaid has got to do more to stop that cross or yeah, stop him getting ahead in the first place just jump in front of him put, put him off turn and face the ball <laughs> oh yeah dreadful um, his decision making was shocking I mean when we first had Tomato at least he was he looked bright going forward and just couldn't defend now it seems like he can't do either he seems to have had a, a right regression again when he got a little bit better but he's got a lot worse again but again I don't know whether him and Johnny are having a, a competition this year to see who can be the worst right back and uh I couldn't tell you who's winning at the moment. They're both on par. I think um, lopatek has got a lot to do when he comes in, but really good appointment, I think, for me. Um, a lot of pedigree, a lot of experience in the, the highest leagues and the highest teams. So let's he's got a, a big job to turn us round. There's positives to their attacking-wise, but defensively we look all over the shop. Everyone does. Um, that last goal, oh my God, it's schoolboy defenders. Isn't it? Everyone's just swinging a foot at it and hoping for the best. There's no composure, no sort of structure to what we're doing it's just oh yeah go on attack us lads and, and we'll see if we can get rid of it at some point not good enough that um but yeah that's where the the proper manager who comes in now he's, he's got a job to do so apparently his, his team are taking charge of the uh the Leeds game good luck let's hope they do all right um but yeah a few positives because we've got a couple of goals in the first half which we don't normally do but also a lot of negatives because we lost the game again well there we go Looking forward to Lapatiki coming in and taking over, to be honest. Oh, hopefully some improvement.